guys? Today is Sunday. Today we're gonna be doing uh, getting some work done on the car. A little small stuff today. I'm then probably gonna wash the car and uh, uh, just maybe get my tools and stuff uh, in order. But today we're gonna be. I uh, just got the valve in. This is the heater core valve. So I'm gonna be connecting this one with these two holders. Uh, I'm actually missing more clamps, so I'm gonna try to see if I find. Uh, if I have more clamps. I need one more. Um, this one will work. Just gotta clamp it down a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put this together. Um, waiting for my dad to come. He has a Dremel, and we're gonna be mounting up e the uh, uh, radiator that I have. Radiator with the fan and shroud. I got that in. So um, one of the issues that I was having was that the radiator water neck is a little bit skinny, as I guys told you. So I'm gonna put the holes on it, tighten it down, see if that fixes it, see if it like it'll climb down and be good. If not, then eventually I'm gonna have to just end up getting another radiator. But the shroud is like a 10 inch shroud instead of the 12 inch shroud. So a 10 it was a 12 inch shroud. So my dad's been the Dremel, and we're gonna just cut out like an inch of the shroud so the fan can have more air to pull out because it's a 12 inch spall fan. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting on my dad. But that's uh, so right now I'm just gonna be putting those hoses on to get literally everything everything will be buttoned up on the car like everything for the motor will be done uh once i do everything today like the heaters the heater core um uh valve is there so the hose is going to be there and then uh the radiator will be there. the only um hose that i need right now is um this one right here which you guys can see right here this one's going to go straight back into the iac and then another one behind the motor it's gonna go straight to the IAC too, so but everything else will be done. I got the holes connected. I need to get a clamp uh for here and for back there also. This the ones that I have are actually right now that I really realize it. Um but I'm drilling the holes down for the fan over here. Can't you through again? Hmm? Alright, so the fan is on. Ended up not cutting it. Um, because, I mean, it's literally, like, that much. It's really going to do that much of, it's not going to, you know, uh, pull that much more air with that. But the issue I'm having here is this. Got this radiator, and this is smaller than this. So, I don't know, I'm thinking, you guys can see it goes way over, way too smooth. So, try to, I guess, get a clamp tighter down tight, and see what happens. If not, I'm going to just... Purchase another radiator. This one is literally brand new. I'm guessing this one is, I don't know. I never knew a single cam was different. Um, because the other one I got was also like a single cam too. And I mean, they all work the same. So I'm going to have to just get another three row. So basically, this is my issue. It's like a little bit smaller. That's my old radiator. You guys can see. I mean, three versus two inch. But uh, look at that water neck. And look at that one. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, this one is done over here. Got the four bolts on it. Cut down the uh, bolt. It's tightened. So now we can mock it up. So I'm still going to end up mocking it up and everything. And just uh, see what happens. Alright, so I have this bracket. I never used it. You guys saw it before. Looks like it's going to end up working. Thought about it, it's not sticking or anything. Uh, bracket is on. I'm gonna run a cable inside now. Then I'm gonna grab it from underneath. Pull it through. Cleaned out the car a little bit too. Uh, tighten up the shifter, not all the way, but gonna eventually just have to um, get a, a different shift link because it still has a little bit of play. So, but yeah. All right, got the pedal through. Now we're just adjusting the pedal. Opening up all the way? It's closed? It's closed? I gotta get used to that because it's so weird because you gotta see before my pedal used to go before my pedal used to go all the way to the floor, right? Now I'm guessing with the throttle body and the way it is. It's staying open? I know I think I know I know what it is, hold on. Um now it doesn't go all the way to the floor. I guess because of the throttle body. But I gotta get used to that. 
That's all the way. I mean, it's not supposed to go all the way to the floor, but. Should be good to see it's too dark. But yeah, so it's normal. That's all the way. It should be fine. It should be good. That's perfect. It's all the way. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Yep. There we go. That shit ended up working out. I thought it was gonna work because the angle it was in, but that's perfect. And I'm gonna tighten it all the way. And yeah, so um, like I said, I got those. I'm gonna go to Auto, Advanced Auto and try to get the clamps that I had before on my uh, turbo piping, which are like better than like the regular regular screw uh, screw clamps. They're like the turbo uh, clamps. So I'm gonna try to. Go to Advanced Auto, see if I can find that. Because if I can find it, then I'll just throw everything out right now and literally everything will be done on this motor. There's nothing else to do. Only thing I'll end up finding out was that, uh, well, I can't even go on that right here. But that sensor I had in the car ended up breaking, so I either gotta solder it or run without the reverse brake lights coming on for a minute. And, uh, one of the last things is these spark plugs don't have any and i gotta get those little rings right there but we're gonna go to advanced auto so let's see all right so this is how i'm gonna be mounting it hold this button. so basically i'm just gonna mount it this way right here i got some regular bolts now i got some downstar bolts coming through but for now i'm just gonna use these let's fix this up like that um, and if you guys don't know I bought well this is like a regular eBay uh, radio but it's a good one then I have to buy this shroud with an eBay fan which I'm not using an eBay fan then I have to buy this shroud and then basically customize the whole entire thing to make it work but yeah, basically this is how it's gonna go right here and that's it it's tiny bolt down here I'm not going to tighten it too much because i got to take these bolts off anyways. Just like that. Got the fan. With the shroud. Hopefully I get these clamps and the clamp works on this. And it doesn't leak. If not, then I'm just out to pull the trigger and get another radiator. Alright, now I came to Advanced Auto. I'm trying to see if they have at least that clamp that I'm talking about. If not, then I'll order it online. And I'm going to see how much they have the NRG spark plug wires for. Let's see. Alright, so clamp has a little bit more life left so it'll be able to tighten down I think pretty good um I had to cut the radiator holes uh, a little bit more because it was too long uh to cut like this much off I gotta do the same for the bottom because this thing is like super long but we're just gonna tighten down the top one and just make sure that it gets tight because if it gets tight then the bottom one will be uh, will be tight we could do that the next time because I still got to uh, get clamps like I told you guys for here and for there so I gotta figure that out next time but we're gonna tighten this down I got these clamps which should be pretty good it's different than the other ones so let's cross our fingers all right so this is perfect this literally works it's not even going like I can't even I can't turn it this clamp that I got actually worked out pretty good we great actually so gonna use this for now leave it like this for now I'm not gonna do anything else to it um, because I still need those two clamps. I have this other clamp I'm going to do in the bottom next week. Because I still have to cut this hose a little bit shorter. And then I need another um, hose clamp for back there that my dad's going to bring for me. Um, and we're good. Everything here is squared off. Everything has enough space. And then I'm deleting this also. Um, they have like a, a nut that you just put here. And I delete that so it won't look so ugly. But everything is on. The auto body is on. Everything on the motor is completely finished. Now I just have to get the 90 degree for the master for the throttle, I mean for the clutch line and a slave in the front. Um, I'm about to order the spark plug for this and then I'm going to get another um, 
valve cups here because this one actually I don't trust it. I think it's pretty cheap, so I'm gonna change that, but everything is coming along. <laughs> 